Recoil in Apex Legends doesn't work the way you think it does, and I'm going to teach you the secret to how to control it. So you've probably all seen the videos out there where people teach you recoil by showing you the pattern of how a gun's recoil works, and then how to mirror it either by pulling the opposite direction or moving in the opposite direction of where that recoil goes while pulling down. Now, what if I told you that this is not how I control my recoil at all, and that I can control a gun's recoil and hit this target consistently even without knowing its recoil pattern? Basically, what you need to understand is that recoil in this game is broken, in the sense that if you oscillate your view, while you're shooting at a rate that is equal to or faster than the fire rate of the gun that you're shooting, your recoil will be completely counteracted by this oscillation, no matter what recoil pattern the gun that you're shooting has. Now, for example, if I take my flatline and I move in a circle like this while I'm shooting, even though that doesn't traditionally make sense with how the recoil pattern of the flatline works, it will still work in terms of resetting the recoil. Let me show you. All I'm doing is moving in a circle like this. I'm not pulling any further left or right than usual. I'm not pulling any further down or up than usual. I'm just moving in a circle. And I hit every bullet. For some of you, this circling technique might work well enough to where you're happy with it. But if you want to take your recoil control even further beyond that, you want to apply a method that basically works the same way as jitter clicking your mouse does. Now, if you don't know what jitter clicking is or how to do it, you basically tighten your forearm muscles so your arm sort of starts vibrating like this. It looks kind of crazy, but it sort of looks similar to the motion that I did earlier, except it's smaller and faster. As long as you can oscillate like this, the same speed that your gun is shooting or faster, you'll be able to fully control the recoil no matter what if you do this method. So the flatline, for example, is a 600 RPM weapon, which means that you need to vibrate 10 times a second or more to be able to fully control the flatline. Now the R301, for example, is an 810 RPM weapon, which means that it shoots 13.5 bullets per second, which again, for the R301, you need to vibrate 13.5 per second to be able to fully control its recoil using this method. Now an easy way to test if you're gonna be able to fully control a gun is taking a clicks per second test, like this one right here. Basically, you wanna do the same motion where you jitter your arm and see how many clicks per second you get. If you can consistently stay above the fire rate of the gun that you're shooting, then you should be able to control it consistently. So you can see here, when I click, I get 13.6 clicks per second, which means I can barely control the recoil of the R301 if I give it all I've got, because the R301 shoots 13.5 per second. Now, I wouldn't say I'm very consistent at this method with the R301 just because of how close my CPS is to the fire rate of the weapon. Because as soon as my clicks per second dips below the fire rate of the gun, I'll have to start micro-adjusting way more. Because of how this is dependent on your fire rate, the guns that I recommend doing this the most with are the L-Star, the Havoc, and the Flatline. And if you're especially fast, like either just under 14 or faster, you can also do it with the Prowler and with the R301. So basically what this video comes down to is if you can vibrate your hand fast enough, recoil in this game basically doesn't exist. Now do keep in mind that sometimes your vibrations won't match up perfectly with the fire rate of the gun, which means that sometimes you'll go slightly off center and you'll have to readjust. So still stay alert while you shoot and react and adjust accordingly. Now, if you made it this far in the video, check out my Twitch channel that I have linked in the description where I stream Apex pretty regularly, as well as my Kovacs aim training sessions. Thanks for watching, and enjoy beaming.